ओके सो वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे सेशन इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द ये स्टडी व्हाट वी हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द लैब व्यू एंड विद द सॉफ्टवेयर डिफाइंड रेडियो दैट इज इन यूएसआरपी 2901 यू हैव ओके so uh, in a usrp 2901 basically a uh, trans receiver it's a transmitter as well as the receiver with the range of 70 megahertz to 6 gigahertz and along with that it's a two channel usrp basically it having the two uh, two type two number of uh, transmitter along with the two number of uh, receiver so uh, if we think about the key features of in a usrp 2901 it's uh, is having a transmitter with the range frequency range of 70 megahertz to 6 gigahertz and it can uh, generate the power maximum power up to 20 decibel gain range that is 89.75 dv and uh, maximum instantaneous real time bandwidth that is the bandwidth of this transmitter dy that is 56 megahertz okay and uh, in the last day we have already uh, told you that only the iq data can be transmitted from your host computer or developing computer to to in a usrp device so here the maximum iq rate when we consider about the streaming data that is 15 mega samples per second or when we burst the data for one one channel or single channel that is uh, 61.44 mega samples per second for two channel it is 30.72 mega samples per second as uh, last day we already told about uh, in a uh, usrp device having one uh, d to a converter because whenever we need to generate some signal from computer to the real world we need to conversion from uh, digital to analog so here we have the digital to analog converter that is 12 bit dac okay and the similarly in case of the receiver section the power uh, frequency range is almost same 70 megahertz to 6 gigahertz maximum input power that is minus 15 decibel and gain range that is 76 decibel maximum instantaneous real time bandwidth uh, that also same 56 megahertz Okay, and uh, streaming uh, data maximum IQ rate fifteen mega samples per second. And similar here, uh, <laughs> in case of receiver, we also have analog to digital converter. Uh, that is the twelve bits resolution. And if you think about USRP uh, box. Box one USRP two nine zero one box having this all are the different different parts. Uh, here you have an USRP two nine zero one device along with uh, AC to DC power supply that is power adapter. One USB a three point zero cable you have along with that one SMA male to male cable. And uh, number five is the thirty decibel SMA attenuator port. And getting started guide within the paper. Okay. Along with that, we also provide you uh, two different types of antenna. One is uh, VRT 400. That is the tri-band antenna. Uh, frequency range that is 144 megahertz, uh, 400 megahertz, and uh, 1200 megahertz. Another we have provide that is the dual band megahertz. and uh, to utilize or to or to use uh, in a usrp 2901 uh, for different communication application we need to install the software first uh, what are the software we need to install uh, first we need to uh, we need to have any one of the application development environment that is ade it may be in a lab view or lab view communication system design software okay so here we have already installed installed in a lab view in this system and uh, to use the lab view we need to uh, add uh, two of the following modules or toolkits that is uh, lab view modulation toolkit and other is the usrp driver 
okay and for hardware installation section uh, to install the usp 2901 device uh, first we have to power on the computer and we have to attach the antenna because in the front panel view of the usp 2901 you will have uh, two different uh, channel that is rf0 and rf1 and every uh, channel having the one number of transmitter and other is the receiver section so we need to attach the antenna or sma cable in front of the panel in the terminal of usb2901 okay as per our application suppose we need to use that transmitter one uh, or tx1 as a, our transmitter and rx2 as our receiver so we have to attach the antenna with those port okay and to interface with the computer we need to connect with the usb uh, cable in your host computer usb 3.0 or 2.0 port okay so uh, first after the completing the uh, installation the software and installing the hardware we need to configure the device how we could configure the device first we have to after installing we have to go to start all program national instruments in a usrp and in a usrp configuration utility i request to devi sir to connect with the hardware hardware uh, with the power supply along with the antenna and usb cable sir we are connecting okay okay Shall we connect the antenna, sir? Yes, uh, you yes, could sir. connect the antenna to uh, TX1 and RX1. Sorry, TX1 and RX2. Connect one antenna to the TX1 by RX1 port. Yes, sir. And another antenna to rx2 port Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So now we have to go to start menu. In search option, if you type USRP, You will find in a USRP configuration utility. Double click the utility. Okay, so, so. So here you have the two different number of USRP. So I request you to first disconnect uh, one USRP. Actually, I need to use only single USRP. Just disconnect the USB cable.
click on refresh device list then it will showing a single number of usrp not responding yes so device 2 your usrp to range 01 which is already connected but uh, the device 2 and device 1 this this is showing as by default you could change the name by putting the uh, new device id you could type any name like transmitter receiver whatever you want to configure okay so it's by default it's showing device 1 so device 2 is showing there okay so for example uh, after installing the usrp driver you will find all the different different uh, example if you write there usrp then in a usrp example then you will find uh, labview 2019 and labview 2020 32 bit version so we have open labview 2020 under that this all other different application you could perform using in a usrp 2.0.1 okay suppose we are trying to transmit one signal and want to receive uh, those signal in asynchronous method so i just want to first open the in a usrp example transmitter continuous asynchronous this all of the bhi uh, i already last day told that uh, the program basically in c language uh, whatever the program we write that is save dot c c format and same here in case of lab view it's uh, basically dot vi file So right now we have opened the in a USRP transmitter continuous asynchronous dot vi. This is the basically front panel. Okay, and if we just control plus e, we could see the block diagram. Or go to Windows. so block diagram okay so this is the block diagram section in case of block diagram if we press control plus h that is the context cell first uh, option will be open transmitter session then this also configure signal configure signal means we have to configure the iq rate carrier frequency through which i want to transmit the signal gain and active antenna means wh through which antenna i want to generate the signal okay and after that uh, this is basically sign wave from generation and for usrp driver uh, vi 
you will find this is basically transmit data right transmitter data and after that it is closed session closed session first open session then configure signal then write data the, after that you have to close this session okay so in our case uh, when i want to run this vi So device name over there 192.168.10.2. But in your case, uh, you could check the device name that is showing device two. So DV two. So same you have to write over there. DV two. IQ rate basically uh, it's a one megahertz. Carrier frequency. Carrier frequency. It depends on your uh, USRP types. Okay. Uh, in case your USRP is basically seventy megahertz to six gigahertz. So you could uh, consider any uh, carrier frequency within this range. Okay. So if I select, uh, it's a hundred megahertz. Is our carrier frequency? Then active antenna. Active antenna. You could type write the name TX one or TX two. Here I have uh, write the TX one only. And you could change the gain and time out, tone frequency, everything, tone amplitude. Okay. So if I run this program, you could see this is basically waveform graph between I and Q. Okay, this is sinusoidal waveform. I'll just uh, stop and change the scale. So this is by default uh, scale, X scale is checking. If we just change the auto scale option, uncheck the auto scale and put the upper value 0 0.002. Okay, so you could uh, visualize this is the sinusoidal wave from one is I value and other is Q value in phase and quadrature. Then you could see that uh, this waveform is transmitted through our TX1 antenna. At the same time, if we open the receiver section, Here you have to again give the name as device two. Sorry, spelling mistake. We have to type the same uh, same uh, syntax like a de whatever device name is showing in your utility. You have to write uh, in the device name also. Here IQ rate same one megahertz carrier frequency. You have to select the same hundred megahertz. Receiver antenna, you have connect the RX1 or RX2, RX2 sir? RX2. RX2. Yes, sir. RX2. Okay. So we have to select the RX2 antenna. And if we run this program, so you could visualize the output waveform. Again, we have to do the same procedure. Uh, I mean, scaling this, change the X scale.
if we run this so you will get uh, the data in your wave from in the receiver section also so this is basically transmitter and receiving simultaneously so again if you go to the transmitter section Yes, this is the transmitter VI. If we stop the transmitter, the transmitter program has been stopped, then you will get the error signal in the receiver. Okay, so whatever the signal you have transmitted from the TX1 port that has been received by RX2. So if we run once again the transmitter, then you will get the output at your receiver section. Okay. And you could also change the gain. Here it is showing the tone amplitude 0 0.707 tone frequency 10 kilohertz you could change and you could check the visualization in your waveform in the receiver section okay so i'll explain the receiver section block diagram If we go to receiver section block diagram, you will find first one is the open RX, RX session, second one is that basically configure the signal, then third will be USRP initiate VI. Then this part is basically fetch receiving data. After that, you have to about the VI and then close the session. And from where you will get those uh, VI? If you right click into the block diagram panel, instrument and instrument uh, IO input output, inside that instrument driver, you will find NIUSRP devices. This is for NIUSRP DO and this is for normal NIUSRP like your USRP 2901. And inside that you will find the RX session. This is for open RX session. Configure the number of sample, then configure the signal, then initiate then phase data, then abort and then close. And the same here you will get that in the transmitter section, open TX session, configure the signal, write TX data and close the session. And these all are the drag and drop type programming. So just if you need to just open transmitter TX session, just select and place anywhere where you need to connect okay and if you don't know about the connectivity of any block uh, just go to the context help option and go to detailed help option in the detail help section you will get the meaning of every parameter like device name, reset, error in, session handle, session handle out and error out. 
so so what are the different types of input you have to uh, provide into this vi you will get and uh, there are different different color basically different data type the wire color is different basically a green color is showing like boolean type connector okay and a pink color connector basically give the uh, a cluster type output and this is basically blue color is basically integer type of data so it's showing the type of means uh, data type okay so in front of the usrp you will have different types of led and connectivity first i will explain uh, what are the different led significant so here you will see the in a usrp front panel and led okay so in front of your usrp 2901 that is the two channel rx0 and rf1 tx1 or rx1 that port is basically input and output terminal for rf signal tx1 rx1 is a sma female type connector with the impedance of 50 uh, ohm and it's a single ended input or output channel so it can be used as a transmitter as well as the receiver anything okay and rx2 is basically input for rf signal basically it's a receiver type so it's a input uh, terminal the same impedance that is 50 ohm and rx2 sma connector is with the impedance the 50 ohm and it's a single ended input channel same thing for rf2 channel here rx2 is basically input terminal for rf signal okay with 50 ohm impedance and tx1 rx1 may be used as a transmitter as well as receiver so it's a input and output terminal for rf signal okay and in front of the LED, uh, different led so in front of your rf0 rf2 that is uh, tx1 rx1 there are different led significant what are the different led uh, signified that the description box you will find the indicate the transmit status of the device so if you use the transmitter one RX, tx1 rx1 section but uh, like in our program uh, we are using tx1 rx1 as a transmitter okay so if color is off then device is not active if it is showing the green color so device is receiving data so it can be acts as a receiver if the device uh, it's showing the red so it starts meeting the data so right now our in our case it's showing the red led in tx1 rx1 part right in case of orange the device is switching between transmitting and receiving data so i request uh, bibu sir uh, oh check whether uh, which led color is showing is it red color right sir we are getting no color no color i, I mean I uh, you didn't send signal sorry oh led is off sir you didn't send any signal we got red color sir
Hello, is it audible? There was some network issue, so that's why uh, connection has been disconnected. Hello. Yes, sir. We are connected. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so here we have put the TX that is R word, so that's why it's showing error. Yes, uh, your uh, right now the program is stopped, so that's why uh, no color is showing. So LED is in off condition. Okay, so if we just run this program, like TX1 first, to run the TX1 VI. Right now it's showing red LED color. as a red. Right. So uh, if we run the RX2, this VI receiver section, then you will find that RX2 will be, we will be receiving data green. Okay, so any doubt up to this? No, sir. No, sir, sir. Okay, okay. And in the back panel of your USRP device is basically, oh, here we have used the power connector for the adapter. Power is basically input except the six volt, three ampere external DC power connector. Okay, and USB connector, you could use any USB 2 or USB 3.0 type of uh, connector. You could connect using USB cable. And reference in that is RF uh, in, that is the input terminal of the external uh, reference signal for the local oscillator. So if you want to provide some uh, any external signal using some, a local oscillator on this device, so you could use the same. And reference in accept the 10 megahertz signal with a minimum input power of zero decibel. That is 0 0.632 voltage peak to peak and maximum input power of the 15 decibel. It may be the square wave or sine wave. Okay. And in case of PPS in, that is the input terminal for pulse per second timing reference. Okay, it's a female SMA type of connector. And you could accept, and it could accept that is zero to 3.3 volt TTL logic and zero volt to five volt TTL signal. And power, I already told you for your adapter or you could connect any external DC power connector, which provides six volt and three ampere connector. Okay, so in case of transmitter, I already uh, elaborate uh, for transmit signal, you need to use the first, open the transmit session, configure the signal, after that, you have to write the transmit data. And in case of the receive signal, first you have to open the receive signal, configure signal, then initiate, then after that fetch RX data, then abort and close session. And you will find all these different, different VI, VI block under, if just go to right click, Just go to right click over there. Okay. If we just stop the VI, then you will be able to right click over there. Whenever the program is running condition, you could not change anything. First, you have to stop the program. Then you could right click over there. 
you will find all these different uh, block inside the instrument IO, then instrument driver, then in, under that NI USRP, then you will find the receiver and transmitter block. And for RF communication, RF uh, different types of modulation, you will use the RF communication block. There are modulator that is analog modulator, modulation, demodulation part, AM, FM, these all other different, different uh, component you could use as per required your programming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. Is it? Hello, is it audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So I'll move to our next example. So first close this VI. So first stop off this VI, then close. Okay, minimize our presentation. And in the last day, we have copy one folder that is for USRP demo. You will find the different types of example which could run your USRP. like uh, USRP transmit song. As it is the software different radio. So if we want to transmit some particular uh, voice or some particular uh, song through, uh, through a defined carrier signal, So it's basically FM song transmitter. Okay, so I give the name as a device two IQ rate two hundred K and carrier frequency. Maybe hundred megahertz. Okay, so we have to browse the signal or browse the uh, song which one which I want to transmit. 
from desktop folder you will find usrp demo then we have to go to usrp transmit song folder you will get this song so airtel uh, ringtone has been transmitted to 100 megahertz carrier frequency Okay, in the block diagram section, you will find first one is the basically open transmitter meter station. Then, then configure the signal. In case of configure, you have to define the IQ rate, carrier gain. Okay, and after that. Here you have to uh, select the file. This is the sound file read.vi. So you have to read this sound file. Then modulate FM modulator. So FM modulator you will find this VI you will find in under the RF communication section. This is uh, MT modulate AM. This is MT modulate FM. That that VI we have used. And after that, it is basically uh, write TX data, which data we want to uh, write in the transmitter section. And this is the close VI or close the session. Okay, so if we just close this uh, block diagram and I want to run this uh, program. So right now programming is in running condition. So if you have any uh, mobile uh, with the radio features, so you could uh, log on to the carrier frequency 100 megahertz then you could hear this song okay otherwise i could also show in this system i will run another vi then msrp demo Then FM radio spectrum. Here we have give the name as device two and IQ rate, whatever we give, that is two hundred K. We give the IQ rate as two hundred K. Carrier frequency hundred megahertz. Carrier frequency that we could give hundred megahertz and receiver antenna RX two. Then if we run this program, then you will get the same tone which which we have transmit from the transmitter. So if we stop this VI,
Hello. So if we st stop this. transmitter section hello is it audible hello is it audible sir uh, yes sir yes sir okay 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 So if we stop the transmitter only uh, run the receiver section, you will get the noise output. So it's basically noise signal, okay. So uh, same thing you could fetch any local FM radio station by using this program. If it is local radio station 98.1, last day it's, it was not work. Basically, uh, it depends on signal strength, strength available in your uh, lab or room. It also showing noise kind of output. Okay, so how to uh, share that uh, FM strong transmitter? This will be your VI. Now this example here we have used the how to transmit the packet data using our USRP device. First here we have to define the, our device name that is device two and IQ sampling rate 400 kilo sample IQ transmitter frequency 915 megahertz. Okay, transmitter enter TX1. And to specify the packet, that is the guard bit, sync bit, message bit, you could uh, specify as per your application. And specify the modulation. Here are different types of modulation, 8PSK, 16PSK, QPSK. Here we have used the QPSK basically. PSK type normal, differential PSK disable, sample per symbol 8. And TX parameter here, that is the same device too. And specify message what I want to transmit from one end to another end. Okay, so this will be our message that I want to transmit using or USRP through TX1 channel. If we run this one. So this is the constellation graph have been showing over there. At the same time, if we want to receive the same packet, So this is the receiver VI. 
here you have to define the same thing that is usrp ip address or usrp name that is device to okay and rx sampling rate almost same 400k 915 megahertz it will be the frequency to gain that is the 20 decibel gain and antenna that is rx2 and specify modulation that is the again the qpsk specify the packet and rx display so if we run this program I want to run the transmitter once again. Stop the receiver, stop the transmitter. Then first run the transmitter section. Then run the receiver, receiver section. So if you type any message over there, you will find the same result. Just delete the, all the message. Stop over there. Stop the receiver also. Then run the receiver. Then again, go to transmitter. So you will find whatever we have typed in our first line, you will get the, get the, the data in our receiver section. In this example, you could change the modulation, different parameter. or you could a different message type like PM sequence you could change or custom text you could transmit. So right now uh, I would request you to connect the two device. Uh, you could uh, connect the two device in your two computer as well as you could connect the two device in a single device. So better uh, in your lab, whenever you want to perform any experiment, that would be better. Uh, you will use the two different computer. One side or one USRP you can use as a transmitter part, other USRP you could access a receiver section. Then you could calculate the uh, noise, how many noise can be interfaces between this channel and check the constellation graph and all these things. Don't save.
then there are several type of application like uh, key key forward means keyboard detector forward powerpoint slides so i request you to start please connect another device just 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 wait first we have changed the name as we have used this device to as only transmitter so we have name as or tx just give as a name as tx okay change device id okay So what will be the name is not showing. Okay, so one device is showing TX1. Okay. And other device one, you could change the name as RX. So just give the name or change the name as RX. So select the device, give the name as RX. So it's showing It will take some time to change the name. Okay, so one device is showing TX and other device is showing RX. So I request you to connect a uh, place at the uh, receiver section of that is uh, first connect the transmitter the tx1 as a transmitter of tx or tx device tx means a last device which was earlier connected just connect the antenna in tx1 rx1 port of rf0 and the same thing you have to do for receiver device or receiver USRP, that is RX USRP, which you right now you have connected. Just connect the antenna in RX1 section. That is TX1 RX1 section of RX0. Okay, sir. Have you connected? Is it connected? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So if we run the continuous running method for 
that is transmitter our esrp will be tx carrier frequency 950 megahertz First, I close this all this way. Okay, so you will get the same signal what you have transmitted in the transmitter. If you stop this transmitter VI, you will get the error signal in the receiver. See so if we run once again. You will get retrieved those signal. Okay, and signal quality can be changes based on the distance between two USB de devices or position of the antenna. It also can be depends. So there are several types of application you could you could perform using USRP, WebDM using USRP, WebDM transmitter. We have to open the receiver section also. That is rx.vi.
here you have to define the device name as rx change the carrier frequency 100m internal math script error okay so for using this application you need to use the math script module so this program will not work until and unless whenever you have installed the math script module to run this vi you need to download and install the math script at t if you just write it over there, lab view, math script module. So if you, if anybody is interested for wave DM receiver session, so you could have to uh, download and install the math script module. Okay. Otherwise, in transmitter section, you could change the generation modulation scheme. Different PSK or QM, you could implement number of sample, number of bits. Okay, so there are uh, different application uh, is already available in uh, in the USRP example folder as well as I have already trans uh, transfer one folder that is USRP demo. And I would like to transfer one uh, workbook or manual for digital communication step by step using in a USRP. I'll just copy and paste into your desktop.
it's basically a national instrument white paper for point to point wireless communication using an iusrp device okay so is there any question or, or any doubt Hello, sir. Okay, sir. It's okay. It's okay, right? So, so if you have any uh, query or any question at any point of time, whenever you want to implement in your lab, please let us know. Okay. And another uh, query maybe happened that. Uh, your lab view that is 2020 of which we have installed that is the evaluation thousand fifteen or 17 maybe so so you could install the same thing on same version also So thank you all. So, so if you have any query uh, at any time, you could contact to Geo as well as me. Okay. So could I close the session? Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Sir, we need another. Sorry. Hello. So you are calling. Oh, yes, sir. Ha ha. Abhi to presentation ho gaya. Aap. Purane gaale mein bhi chalega. Koi dikkat nahi. Aapke paas jo version hai. Suppose aapke paas. Suppose aapke paas 2015 hoga. Thik hai. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Sunday gaare. Hello. आपके आपको फिफ्टीन होगा तो सारे कुछ फिफ्टीन चाहिए फिफ्टीन पॉइंट जीरो के हाँ 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 नहीं नहीं वो सेम ही रहेगा एग्जाम्पल सेम ही रहेगा ठीक है ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं 
कोई दिक्कत नहीं सर एक काम कीजिए मैं आप 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 आपका जो मेल आईडी मेरे को दे दीजिए मैं एक फीडबैक फॉर्म भेज रहा हूँ ठीक है वो मेरे को ऑफिशियल काम के लिए लगेगा ठीक है